Okay, you were on the Enterprise. Yeah. What did they do to you when you crossed the equator? I was already a polywog. You were all, well, you started as a polywog. I mean, don't know. I was already a shellback. Shellback. How did you already become a shellback? Uh, the oiler? Uh, uh, on, a, on a flight out of Pensacola. Uh, that doesn't, don't count. Do oh, they? yes, they do. They do? I got the, I got the card to prove it. Oh, I'll be honest. I never heard that. A little green card. That came in handy on the Yeah, so I told those guys. Now, did we, by the way, did we totally cover Medway and everything? Did well, you want to go, well go back um, over that and just say everything about whatever happened at Medway? Yeah, well, I was on, I was on a crew. I got one on the, uh, one flight I was on. I don't know who the pilot was, young pilot. Uh, we, got, we got credit for assist on the, uh, I think it was a Horyu or one of those Horyu rescue or something, carriers. And that was, uh, it was uh, I didn't have anything to do with it. I was riding aft, and uh, you're in the plane. Though. Yeah, and uh, nothing. Nobody, nobody attacked us. Nobody jumped us. No paid cover. Where did you start out that morning? Where did you take off from? From the carrier. From the carrier. Yeah, we went out. We went out from Midway. How far was the carrier from Midway? You know, I don't know. You know, see, I wasn't in on that part of it. You know. Yeah, okay. I just had a ride. Like I told one guy on the, on the uh, I guess it was out uh, at that uh, memorial, out in Pearl, in the hangar, and it was Pacific, the Pacific Navy, uh, Memorial, whatever it is, uh, the Aviation Memorial. And the guy was asking about it, he says, oh, you flew one of those? I said, no, I, I've got to correct you. I only was in the back. There was a pilot out there doing all the work, you know, I was just, I was like a rear gunner. Oh. It was just rear gunner. He said, well, you were on the plane. You'd be a nice, you know. I said, no, that was before my pilot days. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Um, um, uh, well, I was we, rear gunner still a little Yeah, but, well, we, we knew, we flew pretty well. Uh, to me, all that stuff they were getting briefed on, you know, uh, it didn't, I didn't, didn't mean much to me. I didn't, I didn't pay much attention to it because it didn't mean anything to me. And they, you know, there the guys are making notes and all this stuff, and then, yeah, you know, I'm just going along for a ride. You know, I know how to run that machine gun. Well, tell us about the ride then. Uh, so, uh, you guys, uh, so you ran what? Uh, what kind of plane? And just tell us on the whole. Bunch it was in an SBD, okay. dive bomber, and uh, we were all in formation, going, 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 t tapping back and forth and everything, and uh, but no radio, radio silence. And so I didn't touch it anyway, you know. And uh, we just had intercom with the pilot. And uh, I don't know if that's, that was about it. I, I'm not sure there was any plane to plane. They wanted to keep it quiet. They didn't know. Because, see, they thought Halsey suckered in the feet up to where the boxer went. Was it a boxer? I think it was. Uh, went up to Alaska. They, they faded. They were, come, they were going to go in. Well, they did a, did a Pretty landing, but they got beat up anyhow too. And uh, but he didn't suck her in. He knew that that wasn't it. The main force was going to hit here, and logically they were going to hit midway. See, and then that was the closest on to Pearl, you know. And so uh, he didn't. He, we stayed there, and we knew it. We we all knew that we were going to hit the Jap fleet. You know, we we all knew that, but. Beyond that, I couldn't tell you any of the, I, got, I didn't get in on any of the intelligence briefings, you know, that was strictly pilots at that. We, we were the guys in the back, you know, steerage. So if you saw anything back there, you put on it. Yeah, okay. yeah. But they told us, hey, hang, hang loose, you know, just, you know, when we get out there, get your gut out and that. And so you guys went out there, was it cloudy and everything? Did you, have, did you see any other ships at all? Uh, I don't remember seeing any yeah, other. Yeah. It was it was a lot of cloud, yeah. yeah, a lot of cloud, and uh, yeah. they were they picked that for that reason too. They were they were smart. Was, and, they were and, quite an adversary. And then you uh, eventually just had to turn around and come back to. Yeah, then we come back. Yeah. And then you land. Okay. Yeah, that was it. Okay, that's yeah. still to me that's still exciting. Even though to you it's boring, to us it's <laughs> yeah. exciting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I. Uh, so you just saw clouds and ocean out the river Worcester. Well, no, we saw we saw the ships through the clouds. Uh, yeah, we saw them, okay. but not much of them until we came later. Got down, and we come in. We, he had to know to make his uh, identify the ships. 
you know, the carriers make his dive. They, they normally start at about 20,000 feet, you know, and that was much, much above a lot of that cloud, see, and, and pulled out around five. Wow. Because yeah. they get too low, the LA could hit them with a BB gun, you know. Yeah. And, uh, Did you see anything sinking or? Did what? Did you see any of the ships sinking or anything after Yeah, well, we saw nothing. We saw them on fire, a lot of smoke, you know. Fire, okay. Yeah. And we just let it out around there. We figured we hit quite a few. We saw smoke all around. It looked like that oil field down in, down in Duby or somewhere where they, or Yemen, where they. Did you see the oil field on fire? Yeah. <laughs> when, they, when we were coming in on them. But, the, but there were a lot of planes involved in this thing, you know, not just, not just us. There were a hell of a lot of them. And we were state formation and stuff too, and then joined up and came back. Uh, uh, how long did the whole thing take? Like a day? A couple of days. I mean, not a couple of days. Oh, the, well, we were in and yeah, back and forth. Yeah, a couple of days. Oh, yeah. You had to sleep on At least the plane. a couple of days. Huh? You had to sleep on the plane? No, no. Oh, no. No, we were on, in, on the ship. Oh, okay. I mean, when you took off, you went to Midway, you did your business, and then you came back. And landed. That was like a full day. Uh, well, I'm not. I'm sure I understand you. Be from the carrier. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, it wasn't a full day. Half a day, half maybe. Okay. The most half a day. And come on back. You know, once you drop your bomb, it's useless to stay there. Get out of there. Okay. <laughs> Get the hell out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Were you on an airplane that dropped a bomb, even if you're in the back seat in World War Two? Did your play, Did any of the planes you were in drop Yeah, bombs? yeah. You did. Uh, okay. Overall. Our guys got a, a, a credit for an assist on one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, we don't know whose bombs hit what. The bombs hit all over the place. Yes. But we claim we hit them. So okay. So you had a couple of submarines. I I, I got a, a, a assist for two, two submarines. Yeah. Excellent. And Excellent. Uh, and there's some more some more possibles, but. Uh, to, yeah. to get, I remember I was telling you earlier, to get a credit for a submarine, you damn near have to pull it out of the water like a fish. Uh, right, they right. just, exactly. they don't believe. Those those u boat skippers were too, so slick, you know, they could fool you easily, you know. So you had to be careful. And if he did that, that makes it impossible. You didn't get him, you know, for sure. See, unless he came up, if he broke it in two, an explosion or something, he's going to come up, take pictures of it. So while we were circling all the time, we were in the cameras, had a big, beautiful camera. You know, just, boy, just, you know, it cocked, just, it could almost take, just go like that with it. Every time you do that, it takes a picture, you know. And a big, big picture, you know. Just, there, so that we, if that we had it, there was no question about it. But we didn't have that, so. Uh, well, it was, it was, but we, we got credit for keeping these guys down. We knew they were, we knew they were all over, yeah. and uh, those buggers they had to run for these little bitty islands, and uh, high bitty islands, and you know to rest up, rest, uh, get air to crew, you know, and, uh, and get their batteries up, charging up. There was that something again. Those U-boats. Yeah, news. they they were slick. Yeah. Even the Japs were slick too. The Japs were tough adversary, oh, tougher than we thought. Yeah. But we knew the Germans would be tough, but. We didn't think the Japs were going to be that tough. They were tougher than we thought. Sneakier than we thought, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of more ruthless, too. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and I, I remember I had a good buddy in grammar school. His name was Tadashi something, Nakamura or something like that. He, he and I were the pitchers on our baseball team, grammar school. Was the so, well, but we went to, remember I said we went, we went to, to we were living in the orphanage, yeah. but we uh, we went to a public school. Okay. This is Parkside Grammar School, and so uh, he and I were always better to see who was a better pitcher. You know, and this guy had a he had kind of a sidearm sinker that was really a bugger, and I was boy throw it hard, throw I just threw it hard, and hope they didn't hit it. That's all. So he he was I was successful sometimes. He, he was depending on the team we were playing. So he and I were buddies. The whole bat, the whole baseball team, would go over to his house, his place. His his parents had a cleaning shop, and they lived in the back, the old style, mom and pop style. They lived in the back. They were so nice to us, and here the whole team descends on us. So they, 
um, they'd have Vic Newton's for us. And so, or he coaxed. And uh, they were so nice to us all the time. I remember, I remember I came home and leave one time. I, went to, I was going to see him because uh, my dad bought a house not too far on 41st, and they were on, on, they were on Geary, way out near the beach. And uh, uh, I remember going over there and they were gone. Somebody said, oh, they're gone. They were putting I, a camp. Yeah, they? they were putting a camp. Yeah. I, I was really, really you frosted. Never, I was, yeah. They, after the war, you never saw them again? Never saw them. Oh. And uh, I never tried to have to, never tried to look them up. Uh, I didn't know if they'd ever come back there anyway. We, that was a really tenuous because uh, those people were not saboteurs, you know. And uh, they just, they, that was a stupid move. If they, we, we always said, well, what about Germans? You get rid of half of the New England states if you took the Germans that did it. What about the Italians? You wipe out the coast, you know. And Hawaii, it wipe out everybody, you know. So I said, that was a dumb maneuver. Sure, there were spies, spies everywhere. But, uh, that's not the way you cope with spies, you know, around them and everything. I was the dumbest thing. I, I couldn't get over it. I still can't go over it. It's a dumb deal. And if I, I feel sorry for those guys, yeah, you know. Yeah, they lost all their property. Oh, you imagine, yeah, getting uprooted like that and all. And then treated like, like you know, prisoners. They weren't yeah, treated too good. Like yeah. yeah. I just craw sticks in my craw today. I don't know whose big fat idea that was. <laughs> Dumb, very dumb. Yeah. Anyway. So you guys now, uh, I guess my mind's jumping around here a bit. It's okay. Um, you guys go out. Th so when was after the war was over and everything? Um, when was the first time you went back to Pearl Harbor? Uh, like when they were commemorating it. Oh, after I was uh, out of the out of uh, off the yeah, act, after active they duty. Commemorating it. Yeah. Well, you, oh, must have been fifteen years. No, no, 15 years after. after? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. so you, okay. So some people didn't go back till like, you know, I know, ago. just yeah. this last time. No, we were, I went back. In fact, I bought two condos out there, you know, on Maui. So oh, we wow. were there, we were there five or six weeks a year, you know, we'd come out there two, oh. two, two or three weeks at a time, you know. And yeah, we loved it. And then we knew some people out there, too. Uh, so even in our same, uh, well, that's how, that's how we found the place. Was uh, one a friend of ours was living in one of these condo complexes, and it looked good to us. So she said, "Don't buy in my account. I'm liable to be in Arizona next week." I said, "It's up to you. We we buy it because we want it, and it's a plus that you're here. But we didn't buy it for you, you know, because of that." So, but she did. She did leave after about five years. She went to Arizona. She came back again, and then she went back to Arizona again. Then she came back to the Bay Area. She, she had a uh, boutique in the, uh, in, uh, in the square in North Beach, uh, Ghirardelli oh, Square. She sold beads? Ghirardelli Square. Oh. And uh, she had a nice boutique there. She had one in Strawberry Canyon up in the Marin side. And she had another one in somewhere down um, I forget where the other one was, across the bay somewhere. Oakland or Ber Berkeley, I think. Berkeley and uh, she closed those two Friday. She kept the one in, in, uh, in Mira Deli. And I said, we'd, we'd go visit her. It was a standing thing for a while. Every Friday night, we'd go, we'd have, we had dinner somewhere, some restaurant in the square. There were good restaurants there. And, uh, and, uh, we were we we with these two condos. We got I got them one to, to live in after I retired, part time. I was going to keep the condo in in Los Altos, and whenever the weather was bad here, I go out to Hawaii. <laughs> you know, in the, but round trip airfare coach was only ninety nine dollars. Total round trip. Wow. And then that oil crunch went in the seventies seventies sometimes. Yeah. That ruined everything. 